for the new crop placement tool in Cirrus Web. Let's begin by clicking the crop placement link in the header. If you do not have a grower selected, you will be prompted to first select a grower. In the crop placement view, you'll notice the season defaults to the current year. You may adjust it as needed and it will remember your selection going forward. Along the top of this view is also a series of season filters. These allow you to filter your fields to a set cropping rotation based off of your historical data. Once you've filtered your fields to the rotation you're after, you may begin placing your crops. First, start by selecting the field where you want to place a crop. If you have multiple fields that you plan to treat the same or similar, you may also use the multi-select functionality. You'll see that a side panel expands to let you associate your cropping information to the selected fields. Initially, you may only know your crop, but as the season develops, you may start to learn what traits and varieties will be available to you. This tool is designed to help you build up your cropping plan as the season develops. Once you've filled out your cropping information, click Save. Notice that your fields now reflect a new cropping. Updating your cropping is just as easy. Simply select the fields you want to update and make your adjustments as needed. When you're finished, save your changes and your field will update accordingly. Additionally, you may also adjust your cropping plans to be much more detailed. Simply click Edit from the ellipsis menu to further adjust your cropping plan to meet your exact needs. Here you may use the split tool to make a variable rate activity as well. Thank you for watching and keep an eye on your inbox for more updates on Sirius Web.